Mario Draghi is a quiet strategist, a self-confident man. Some consider him a bit arrogant, but one thing is certain, he knows how to get things done, and he doesn't shy away from difficult decisions. There was one dissent in view. You, uh, we, we, don't, we don't disclose uh, the details of our workings. It's up to you to guess. Rescuing the Euro has become a battle of Europe's top central bankers. Mario Draghi, head of the European Central Bank, versus Jens Weidmann, head of Germany's Bundesbank. Weidmann says the decision to buy up sovereign bonds from troubled Eurozone states is the beginning of the end. But it seems Germany's foremost banker was simply overruled. The fate of the Euro now lies more than ever in the hands of the ECB. We act strictly within our mandate to maintain price stability <coughs> over the medium term. We act independently in determining monetary policy. And the Euro is irreversible. Draghi is making his mark. The new ECB headquarters in Frankfurt have long been regarded as a symbol of his new strategy. Bit by bit, floor by floor, the European Central Bank is rewriting the rules. In future, under Draghi's plans, the central bankers in this sleek building will be pumping as much liquidity into the financial markets as they feel is needed. But at least the ECB Governing Council is setting conditions for when the central bank should aid countries in crisis. At the same time, governments must stand ready to activate the EFSF ESM in the bond market when exceptional financial circumstances and risks to financial stability exist with strict and effective conditionality in line with the established guidelines. The ECB will only buy a country's bonds if it agrees to austerity measures. But purchasing unlimited amounts of sovereign bonds means printing more money. And the more money there is in circulation, the greater the danger of inflation. In 2008, the inflation rate in the Eurozone was running at 3.3%. After a decline, it rose again to a modest 2.7% last year. But how long can that last? Skeptics are warning of massive inflation within two years. But Draghi doesn't appear too worried. Oh, I mean, I'm what I am, really. And, I... <laughs> and because he is who he is, Draghi is planning to do what he thinks is right. The unlimited purchase of sovereign bonds is a historic decision.